Today I'm going to be cleaning these dirty wheels and make them go from this to something that looks like this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. And let me show you guys the car that I'm going to be working on today. This is the car that we're going to be working on today. This is a 2010 Honda Civic, just your base model Civic. And this is my family's car right here. This is the car that everybody uses. And as you can see, it has over 260,000 miles. And for whatever reason, the wheels in the front are cleaner than the wheels in the back. I don't know how that happened because usually the wheels in the front get dirtier faster because you're applying more brake pressure to the front. And just look at how dirty these wheels are. These wheels have never been deep cleaned. They've been cleaned by me, but they have never been deep cleaned its whole entire life basically. And today I'm gonna do that. All right, so we're gonna be using four products to clean. And the first product is this right here. This is the Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner. The next one is gonna be this Gunk Engine Cleaner and Degreaser right here. Then we have the Chemical Guys All Purpose Cleaner. And we just have your household uh, dishwashing detergent. So we're gonna be using four products to see which one cleans best. And the steps are gonna be washing, claying, polishing, and waxing the wheels. All right, so now that we have the wheels outside, we can take a closer look on how dirty these are. Obviously, these back two wheels are the dirtiest, and this is the front. And don't forget, we gotta clean the inside of this. And ugh, just look at all of this. That's insane. This is 250,000 miles of just buildup caked up in here. So when testing out the wheel cleaners, I'm gonna be using two wheels of similar dirtiness, and obviously it's gonna be both of the rears right here. So one half is gonna be one cleaner, and the other half is gonna be another cleaner. And same thing with this wheel right here. One half is gonna be one cleaner and the other half is gonna be another cleaner. Just to make the test as fair as possible. And by the way guys, you guys don't wanna be doing this in direct sunlight, especially when it's 100 degrees out like it is today. But this is the only time I have to film this video, but let me know in the comments below if you guys have any favorite wheel and tire cleaners. So right here, we're just gonna start the pre-rinse, take all that loose dirt off, and look at all that dirt coming off. That's crazy. And the wheels already look five times better than when I just started just with water. So on the left side, I'm gonna be testing the Meguiar's first and I'm gonna try to not uh, cross contaminate right here, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, maybe we should make sure this is open right here. So while the left side is noticeably cleaner, it's time to do the right side with the dish soap. Now it's time to rinse the soap side. Maybe it might be a good idea if I turn on. All right, so, so far they look evenly matched, but as you can see on the left side, this is a little bit cleaner with the stains, whereas this side you could see the stains that are more visible right here. Now it's time to test this engine cleaner and degreaser. All right, so now it's time to try this last product here by Chemical Guys, their all-purpose cleaner right here. So as of right now, they're all pretty similar, except I think that the Meguiar's is just in the lead a little bit, as well as the engine degreaser, and I would say the dish soap and the Chemical Guys APC cleaner is similar. But maybe when we flip it over to the dirtier side, it'll make a bigger difference. Man, look at how dirty this is even after I just rinsed it. So on the left side, it's gonna be the exact same thing. I'm gonna be using the Meguiar's right here. and instantly look at all that iron being dissolved right here that's literally insane 
So I'm gonna do the exact same process. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then brush it. And wow, look, I just did one pass and look at this. Look at the left side, right? Look at all that. I know there's a couple areas where I need to clean again, but look at the right side. That's literally insane. But let's go ahead and try the soap and I'll see you guys right after. And wow, look at the left side again, right here. And this is the right side after the soap. So obviously this is a lot cleaner. And again, I just did one pass to make it as even as possible. And there's some stuff where it got cleaner than any other side, but I mean, overall, you could see which one's winning so far. So now it's just these two left and I'm gonna do this wheel right here and I'm just gonna skip it and show you guys the end result because I'm not trying to waste you guys' time. So we'll just cut that to right now. And here it is. So these are a little bit more evenly matched than that side right there, but I'm gonna say that the engine degreaser was a little bit better than the all-purpose cleaner. So clearly the winner is gonna be the Meguiar's wheel cleaner right here. Second is gonna be this engine degreaser. I would say third is the Chemical Guys all-purpose cleaner. And then last would be the dish soap. All right, so now that we clearly have a winner, I'm gonna wash all the barrels and all the faces of all these wheels. And good thing you're not gonna have to see that because with the magic of editing, oh my gosh, good thing you guys missed out that whole thing. That thing, I was cleaning for almost two hours now and I cleaned the faces twice and the back three times. And let's go ahead and look at it. And here we are. This is the front and they're all still in the same order, don't worry. And this is the back right here. I didn't fart, that was my sandals. But anyways, yeah, I cleaned the back three times and the faces twice, like I said. I could have spent a little bit more time in these areas, but you know, I <laughs> already spent a while. It's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than when we started. So the next task at hand is to remove all these browning spots right here. Browning spots, I don't even know if that's a word, but like all these little spots right here. And how do we do that? We're gonna use a clay kit first and then we're gonna end up polishing the wheel right here. So claying took a while because the wheel was intricate and I had to do that for every spoke for every wheel. Wow, and let's take a look at this. So look at these lug holes right here. So the top two has been clayed while these three right here haven't. And look at the difference, that's crazy. It's crazy how something so insignificant and tiny can make such a big difference overall. So the next step is just to clay this wheel, clay this wheel, and clay those two over there, and yeah. So I finished claying the faces of the wheel and I was debating whether I should clay the back, and I ended up doing it just because I was like, you know what, when am I ever gonna do this again? And it looks a heck of a lot better than one that hasn't been clayed, so. Yeah, I just decided to do it. And like I said earlier, those little spots are just really hard to get to. But at least you won't be seeing them when the wheel is on. And I try to really focus on these parts right here that you'll be able to see. All right, so now that's done. All we have to do now is compound and polish and wax. So we're almost done, we're almost there guys. And yeah, I'm gonna do this wheel right here. And again, I'm gonna be using Meguiar's. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but it's kind of crazy how I just have their products now, now that I think about it. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys the compounding. Let me show you guys just how much shinier it is after just the compound right here. Look at that, right? That's after. And that's before. Big difference, night and day, oh my gosh. Before, right? After. Glossy. So now it's just time to add this ceramic spray coating by Turtle Wax and honestly, I think this is a really good product for a spray ceramic coating. It's not real ceramic coating, but it honestly works pretty well and I've noticed that even has like slickness up to like three weeks even after I applied it. So I'm gonna put this on on all four tires. I'm gonna be using the Chemical Guys Tire Shine. I really like this product because you spray it on, it looks wet, but once it starts to dry up, it doesn't look it doesn't give that oily look to it and it's not matte so it just gives it that new tire look which i really like so let's go ahead and use this and let's see the final product oh my gosh look at this 
these almost look like they're brand new i know there's a couple spots that you know that i can't get other than you know having to repaint the wheel but for what you guys can do for a couple of hours and what like 30 40 bucks this is insane oh my gosh <laughs> 